Hey there, Bob from Oregon's Constant Gardener. Am I too close? I'm fine. It's the OCG Fam Show. Welcome. Thanks for slowing your scroll. It's one more day till my favorite holiday of the year, Thanksgiving. Let me tell you why I like Thanksgiving, just as a side note. It's about three of my favorite things. Gratitude, big on gratitude. Makes you happier. Think about all the things you're happy about, things you're thankful for. Gives you a calm inner peace. Family. I got a good family. I like hanging out with them. Food. I'm a big turkey fan. Now I know some of you are more tofurkey things and think maybe I'm a savage, but uh, I like it, I'm sorry. So, one more day till Thanksgiving. Also, the Thanksgiving special coming up tomorrow. If you got any thoughts about what we should do on the Thanksgiving special, put them in the comments, but I got a little idea I'm thinking about. So I think we got something going. Even if you can't think of anything, I think I got something. I'm rambling on. Today is about the pH meters. We're going to take the Blue Lab pH meter. We're, we talked about all the stuff the other day, all the stuff you need. I showed you the instruction sheet. I put a link to the instruction sheet, sheet, sheet in, the, in the comments there. But today, we're actually going to clean one up, this one, and then we're going to calibrate one, this one. So it's going to be a lot of fun. Let's get right into it. Okay, so first of all, before we talk about cleaning it with the kit, which is what we talked about the other day, is getting the pH and conductivity probe care kit. But if you don't want to spend the money on the kit, I can understand that. And you can probably get away with, instead of using the probe cleaner, just getting some mild dish detergent. And instead of using that little toothbrush, you could probably go down to the Walgreens or the Walmart or the you know, order it on Amazon or, or, you know, go to your local drugstore if you can find one and get you a soft toothbrush and, and you'll probably be just fine. But that's not what we're going to do because we're big time here. We're going to use the kit. Let's get going. So all of our instructions are right here on this sheet that we got from Blue Lab. That's a link on the, uh, in the comments there. Now the first thing it says is remove storage cap from pH pen. Now let me tell you about that. What you do here is you rock this thing back and forth and it kind of pops off. But... When you first get this thing, it doesn't want to come off. And you just got to keep rocking it and rocking it and rocking it back and forth. And eventually it will come off. So you get that off. The next thing, now I'm not going to rinse it in tap water because I don't have any tap water up here at my demonstration table. So I'm just going to swish it around in here. And you know, I talked to Larry Borland uh, from Blue Lab and he said, yeah, that's probably okay. But the important thing is that you don't want to leave any of the soap on here to uh, affect what happens later on in the process when you do it with the K... CL solution. So anyway, we got that rinsed off. Now what you want to do is you want to put, get your little plastic cup. Not a glass one because those are too uh, chingy. They, um, they could break the little glass thing inside the probe. There's a little, little glass thing inside there. See that? You don't want to break that. So you get your uh, little plastic cup. You put some water in it. You put a little of this uh, probe cleaner or some mild detergent soap in there. I don't think you need to shake it, but I like shaking it. And you just don't want to put a whole lot in there. I just put a little bit in because what you don't want to do is get uh, a lot of that residue stuck on the, the probe and have it, you know, uh, affect the uh, KCL solution, which it's going to do. So I'm probably not describing that very well. Here we go. Oh boy, I put too much water in there. So you swish that around and what that does is kind of clean it off a little bit and also uh, mix up all that soap in there. But uh, Larry also said to me that, you know, in the instructions here it says you might be able to just get away with doing this if it's not too clean. But he said, you know, it's not going to hurt it and it probably makes a lot of sense to go ahead and uh, brush that thing off. So what I do is I dip my brush in here and just shake that around a little bit to get it a little coated there so I'm not, uh, you know, so harsh on this thing. And then you just gently scrub around in there on the uh, the glass ball is what you're trying to clean off everything else is nice to have it all clean but the glass ball is the the important part there so you get that all cleaned off there and then you want to rinse it off really really well because you want to get all that soap off of there because that soap could affect the next step and let's go to the next step the next step very important is you want to soak this for 24 hours in the KCL solution. That's what I got right here, the KCL storage solution. And the reason for that is that this solution is what gives the probe that little um, coating on it that helps it to conduct electricity to um, work as a pH meter. So what you gotta do is you gotta get this rinsed off really good and get that in there. And you gotta leave that in there 
for 24 hours so it can build that film up again. So anytime you clean this, or the first time you get the meter, very important to soak it for 24 hours. Now Larry said you might be able to get away with a little less, but you know, let's stick to the instructions, better safe than sorry. Okay, so we got this guy cleaned, now we're gonna calibrate. We're gonna use uh, this guy over here, but before we do, I wanna mention one thing. I'm probably beating a dead horse with this. I keep going over and over it, but never store, rinse, or soak the pH pen in RO, reverse osmosis, distilled, or deionized water. Pure water changes the chemistry in the reference, causing the probe to die. Not good. So, uh, no RO, if you're, you know, a lot of people use RO water for their uh, nutrient mix, so when you're doing all that, that's a different story entirely for measuring that, although it won't measure that RO distilled or uh, reverse osmosis water unless you do have a little bit of nutrients in there. So if you're doing a, a reference just to see what your water is at for pH, you're going to want to put just a little drop or two of some of this in there to give it a little bit of a charge to work with. But as far as rinsing the thing off, cleaning the thing, storing the thing, none of those waters, just pure old tap water and then uh, store it in the KCI, KCI, KCL solution. So now let's get on with uh, calibrating this meter. Come on over. Okay, so to calibrate our meter, we're gonna need a little bit of tap water. We're gonna need some pH 7.0 calibration solution, some pH 4.0 calibration solution, and some KEL, KCL pH probe storage solution. And our meter, of course. So let's get going. What we do is we wanna take the cap off, you can just put it up here and turn this on. Can you see that? I hope you can see this, okay? You turn it on there, and then what you want to do is you want to put it in the 7.0 solution. So we put some 7.0 solution in there. Now this is going to take a little bit, but we got time. It's the holidays. We're relaxed. So we put this in here in the 7.0, and then we just want to just let it stabilize. And I may not wait the whole time. When you're doing this, you're going to want to wait quite a while until you see that it actually doesn't move even a little bit, even for like maybe, oh, 20 or seconds or so, maybe 30 seconds, all that sounds like a long time. But we're just gonna assume for the purposes of this that it's stabilized. So next thing we do is we take it and we hit the calibrate button and hold that down. Now when it says cal, we wait, okay? And then see, uh, can you see that? There's like one little O and then two little O's and then three little O's, and then four little, come on, four little O's, and you see the seven down here, it's calibrating for 7.0. Okay, so now it's calibrated for that. So we take it out of here, and then we put it in some water here, I believe, to kind of rinse all that off. Then we're gonna take our 4.0 calibration solution, put it in here, and then put it into that. Now, we want it to stabilize again. See, five, three, four, eight, it's going back down into the into the fours there. Keep waiting and waiting and waiting. Okay, slowing down to 4.2. 4.1. It's pretty stable. All right, so now we're gonna hit the cow button again. Until it says cal, then we let go. And then we get, whoops, sorry. We get one O, two O's, and you see the four down there that it's calibrating for four. Three O's, I guess these are zeros, not O's. Four zeros, it's flashing, it's flashing. Okay, we got our four O's. Calibrated, now see if you look over here, it's kind of hard to see because you're, you know, but there's a little check mark and it's calibrated. So we take it out of there. We're gonna rinse it off in some water there. Now this is the really important part. We get our KCL solution. And now, if, I don't know if you can see, there's a little spongy kind of thing in there. Can you see that a little, little spongy thing? We're gonna fill that up with uh, three, four, five drops of the KCL solution. And then we're gonna put our meter back in there. And that's gonna keep our glass probe nice and cozy in there and safe. So we can take him now, put him back in the old tool box there and we're good to go. Okay, so we got our pH pen cleaned and calibrated. We know how to do that now, so that's exciting. And I guess that's about the show, other than to say that uh, one more day till Thanksgiving. And uh, I hope you'll tune in for the show tomorrow for our Thanksgiving special. And if you got to travel, there's going to be a lot of people out there on the road. 
and they're just thinking about that turkey. And uh, you know, so uh, try to have some patience if they cut you off or stuff. They're just they're just thinking about that turkey or that tofurkey. They're not bad people. So uh, take it easy on the road. Take care of yourself. And uh, thank you for for watching the show. And I love you. And I'll I'll see you tomorrow for the Thanksgiving special. It's exciting. <laughs> I gotta go. Oh, the little thing's in the way. Hold on a second. Okay, there we go. For more information about anything on today's show, go to our website, ocgfam.com. The OCG Fam Show, it's pretty good. It happens every day. It's the OCG Fam Show. See you tomorrow. It's a Thanksgiving special. Tune in.